Hello everyone, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. I have a lot of things to show you today. I'm going to jump right in, not going to really explain everything ahead of time. I think you're used to my channel by now, and if you're new, then I hope you'll jump in and enjoy the crazy that we do here at least about five times a week. So here we go. Paper crafting journal related. Before I talk about all the other things, I want to show you how Dreamy Designs Club printed out. Yesterday, I released, along with my bestie crafty friend, Joanne, um, a new image club. And this actually has uh, journal kits that we created together, Joanne and I. And they have a creamy, dreamy, vintagey feel. Someone else looked at them and thought they were more modern. That could be the case too, but they're very much inspired by Joanne's uh, aesthetic and we're creating together. Now, this is not everything, but I showed you on the screen yesterday. I wanted you to see what they looked like printed out. Um, you get lifetime membership for only $10 this weekend. Uh, regular price is 95. Uh, we add more every week. So exciting. And plus there's a huge sale on all the other clubs between five and $10 for all the other image clubs. So make sure you grab that this weekend before the prices go way up on Monday. So this is creamy cappuccino and I did not print it all out. I just kind of wanted you to see how gorgeous these colors do print. So this is a creamy cappuccino page. This is a golden serendipity labels page. I did print it borderless. <laughs> So that's why it doesn't have a border on the side there. But this is also from Creamy Cappuccino. I love those tags. I made these tags. Joanne, Joanne created this journal page. I made these labels. You see we're working together. Um, I made this page. And then she made this one for Creamy Cappuccino. Doesn't that print out so yummy? Oh, it's beautiful. And then I think, I think I created, yeah, I created this one for Golden Serendipity. Uh, Joanne created this one for Golden Serendipity. See how gorgeous this is when you fold it in half and put it in a journal. So you have the golden roses on this side, and then on that side you have the bird coming out. So beautiful. This is Orchid Delight, and Joanne made this page, and then I made this calendar that goes with it, and I also made these labels. So there's approximately 20 files per kit. I think we have three completed kits right now. One has 18 files, one has 20 files, and one has 21 files. So I'd say the average is somewhere around 20, and that's about where we're going to keep it, about 20. Um, so I only printed three from each one. You'll see another file in there with a few images called Fresh Lavender, and we've already started on that. It'll take us about two weeks to complete a kit to complete a new folder. So you can expect approximately 10 images a week. We may do an entire kit in one week and then take a week off. We may split it up, but that's about what you can expect. So I thought I'd just show you how beautiful some of these print out. And then of course we want them to be able to go well together. So um, a lot of these will go gorgeous together. My cat has the craziest meow. Uh, drives me crazy. So you see the golds here and how if you put these together, you could print double-sided or coffee stain that, but see how gorgeous that goes together. Um, so we're using the same aesthetic for the entire club so that you can kind of mix and match if you wish as well. All right. So we talked about that. Um, we're going to move right into just going to flow this whole thing through. I don't have a plan. Um, we have a Christmas journal, and I believe this is from Barb Hutchinson. She is my newest supplier, and she sent this Christmas journal, which is ring-bound, has a vintage Rudolph cover on it. Very cute. Um, this is a really cute ring-bound, whereas you can... All the noise in the background is my dog and cat, and they're chasing each other around. So this is Christmas-themed. You can turn this into a December daily. Um... Lots of places for you to stencil, stamp, kind of just make it your own. Give it to um, a kid and let them create as well. My four-year-old is really, 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 really into drawing at right now, and he would love something like this. So how fun would that be to work on? So there's Rudolph. Um, here's another one. This one has a little snowman on the front and a golden book there on the back, some Jingle Bells. This was also made by Barb, and it's very uh, similar on the inside. Just, just Christmas book pages and other pages. It would make a great Christmas glue book. 
uh, photo album. You could also use it, and I, I tend to recommend this a lot for ring bound. You can take them out and use the pages in your crafting, or just um, what I do if I do something like this is I just rip it out here, and then I would use the images and pages if I wasn't keeping it together. It makes a great resource folder. So that's the snowman one. And then she also sent this one, which is Santa's surprise book right here. And so this also has um, just a variety of papers that you can stencil, stamp, fun Christmas items. Really, really adorable. So get that closed. She didn't include any info about it. So this is her first time being shown. So I will send her an email with some guidelines for the info in case she misplaced those. That way we all get to know a little more about the book. All right, so that's Santa's surprise book. Um, we're gonna jump ahead to, I have two more journals that I made. These are my Full of Grace journal line. And I'm excited about these. You guys have been seeing the last week or two. I'm working on a collection of journals using my ephemera pack called Full of Grace. You can get that on my website printed or digitally. This is number five and number six. One through four have already sold. And then these will be listed in Lindsay's Handmade if you're interested in purchasing them. So I really didn't know what to do with these goldfish. Um, I love, love the picture, but it just wasn't normally what I would do a journal with. So it really helped stretch me. That's what I like about this challenge I've given myself to use each of these ephemera images on the front cover um, and then see where it goes. So I chose this scrapbook paper that I normally wouldn't use unless I was doing like a 4th of July journal or something like that which I've noticed don't sell that well. They do kind of sell, but they're so narrow. It's only like one day out of the entire year. But I love the embossed stars. I got this, and I think this might have been from Vicky. I think she just de-stashed it as one of her ugly papers, and I decided to give it new life. I loved how the color paired with the fish, and then um, I put some text. This is a vintage 1940s math book page on the background. And then I just used different pearls and rhinestones like flatbacks here to make it look like bubbles. So I actually adore the way this cover came out. Uh, there's 72 pages and one signature. Um, this was not a double-sided paper. So I just added this to it and then it's reinforced with a piece of wallpaper. I used an embossing folder on this as well as a playing card, um, a bouquet playing card. And then for the pages, this is a freebie that I had posted over on my group. I keep a folder on my computer that says my group freebies. So sometimes I look through that. I've got some lace and a button. These are the pastel line papers I had bought on Etsy, and I posted a link to these on my Facebook group, Nevermore Creations, Drunk Journals and Friends. This was another freebie. I added the Tim Holtz word determined. I think, I don't remember if this was a freebie or not, but um, this vintage floral here, I made a little pocket. This um, is a vintage, like, teacher's card, books and authors, storytellers. I turned it into a tag. And then these are some Tim Holtz words that you can use throughout. This is from Modern Maiden Image Club. I love how this page came out. It's one of my image clubs I was talking about earlier. It is on sale for $10 this weekend. A normal price I think is 80 or 90 for regular price. We're still working our way up to that as I add more images. I think I usually keep it at around $20 um, because I still am working on adding images to it and I add images every week. But Currently, you can get it for 10. This is from my kit, Peaceful Poppies. I've added in a book page. This is from my mini kit, Clover and Buttercups. And I added a little tag down there. This is from Modern Maiden Image Club. Uh, this background page is a graphics fairy page. And then I just have some book pages, vintage book pages, and stamping and stenciling. Uh, vintage book page. I used this label washi tape throughout, and I'm in love. I really liked it. I've splattered some Glimmer Mist. This page is from Boho Dreams. It's one of Joanne's paper packs or mini kits. Uh, this is from Modern Maiden. This is Antique Papery. This is from Modern Maiden in the background, but I have a tall bag and then a stamped 
cardstock ta double tag there. This is a vintage book page. So I got to add a little bit of fish. I'm excited about that. Made a little pocket and then these are both little vintage bits. This is from 1931, I believe. Look at all the patina on the old tape. This is not a copy. This is, these are both really vintage pieces. And so I have added them in there. This is a modern maiden background. And then I also did some stamping. Okay, I gotta show you this paper clip because I wanna give many thanks to the lovely Barb Hutchinson, which we've been talking about today. We just showed her Christmas journals and we're about to show some of her goodies after I get through my journals. But she's send, been sending me a bunch of beads and I used some of those beads to make this paper clip. So I just kind of strung them on there and then I used the Gorilla Clear Bond glue to add the resin uh, butterfly. And then I thought that was just the perfect touch. I got this little envelope in Happy Mail. I don't remember who it was from, but it was a perfect use for it. And then I just made my little paper clip. So this is also from Modern Maiden Image Club, this journal page. This is TLC Creates Vintage. This was a William Morris freebie that I had on my group. Bit book pages cardstock, tan, copy paper, just with glimmer mist to add some interest, a little book page with a butterfly, some die cuts. I was using this stamp repeatedly throughout. I love this greenery boughs type nature stamp. This is an old um, envelope. I don't know the year. It has writing and I think it's in another language. Anyway, I just thought that was really cool and I love the colors, so I added that. This is vintage 19, I think 1930s, 1940s here. Some little nature stickers, baby animal stickers. Little vintage tally card. And then I added this uh, sticker that came out well. Joanne's Boho Dreams. And then this is my porch prints. Joanne made this tag. I thought it was perfect to tuck in there. Kind of have the other side of the papers. That's why I'm not mentioning as much. I have a little um, tag here in the belly band I created. And then I sign them and this is number five. So that is number five. And then this is number six. So this was kind of a plain image. It's a vintage image from my ephemera pack full of grace. You can get that on my website, like I said. But I added some flowers to these leaves and then I have some vintage cardstock, some uh, fabric from India. It's not sorry, it's not um, silk. It's, it's a, more of a synthetic, but it is from India. And then um, this is from My Porch Prince. We have some cardstock in the back. And then this cardstock I had bought on the Facebook Marketplace. I bought like a stack of cardstock and I've been trying to work through it just a little bit. This is double-sided. This is from a book and I just die cut it out, made a little tuck spot. Um, this is from digitalpapershop.com. This is my kit script and lace. This is from Vintage Image Club. I just printed it smaller. Uh, this is from, okay, I believe this is from Queen of Random Image Club. It is not currently available. The plan is to release it for Black Friday. I have been working on it for, I want to say, about two months. I want to have it really um, amazing by the time I release it, uh, but that's a page I was working on. This is from my kit, Pretty as a Peacock. And then I used that fern and leaf stencil from In Love Arts uh, throughout here just a little bit. The tall bag with book page that's been stamped there. I think this is Modern Maiden. Pretty as a peacock, some vintage writing paper that good citizen, citizenship rules Jeff King 3A. So this was from an estate sale and I bought it from the lovely Feed the Birdies on Instagram. Script and Lace. This is from Innocent Days. It's one of my ephemera packs. There's a little vintage book page, a flower. This is from Modern Maiden. We've got stenciling. This is a Happy Mail tag that I just embellished a little bit. This is from Innocent Days. I just die cut it out. This is hand painted paper I did. It's yellow and green glitter. And I do have one or two sets of this left under Lindsay's Handmade. It is on sale for I think like $2.99. So um, it is really fun to add into a journal. Got some vintage book pages, vintage lined paper. 
This is from my kit, Very Delightful. This is from Innocent Days. A little quick copy paper there. This is from Innocent, I think this is from Innocent Days as well. Using that stencil again. This little double pocket was from Happy Mail and then I just stuffed it with a bunch of goodies. This spread is from Pretty as a Peacock and I added some gray corners for contrast. This is from Innocent Days. I just embellished it and this is from Lavender and Lace. So Graphics Fairy, Shabby Dabby Duda, very delightful. Got this in some Happy Mail. It's so pretty. Finally used it. Quit hoarding it. This bunny is from Down the Rabbit Hole. I just fussy cut him out. It's one of my ephemera packs. This background is from Lavender and Lace. Modern Maiden, of course, some Tim Holtz ladies. We have a wallpaper pocket, a wallpaper journal card, and one of my little handmade by Lindsay Butterfly cards. This is from a book. I cut it out and punched some hearts, script and lace. This is from Atomic Junk Journals on Etsy. Little mushroom card. And then this is from Innocent Days on my website. Pretty as a peacock. To come, to come. This is a uh, queen of random. So not released yet. I just had to use the page. So full of grace number six and I've signed it. So I'm currently working on number seven. I've picked out the cover and the image. It's a horse image for the front, um, but I haven't actually gotten the pages together yet but I will be working on that. All right, let's continue on. I have a gigantic snippet roll here from Barb that I know you guys will be very interested in because it is four inches wide and over four feet long. So I'm just gonna quickly go through so you can see the beautiful, beautiful laces and little bits that she put on here. Isn't that gorgeous? So the way I would use it, and of course there's so many ways, um, there's no many, there's no buddy who can tell you what to do with a snippet roll. But especially with this size, I would cut and use it as pockets or as like cut and use it as the front image. Like say this is a journal cover and instead of this, you could put something like that on the front of a journal. And when you have one this long, you have so many options. This is just beautiful, Barb. Kind of shabby chic and chunky. I've made snippet rolls too, and I love how everybody makes them different and has their own little way of doing it. So this is a big snippet roll. She made a couple of little snippet rolls. So these are teeny tiny. I haven't actually looked at them yet, but I think it'll be fun to look at them together. All right. Oh, cute. Oh, I love that. That would be so pretty down the edge of a page. That's a black and white one. I think she has one or two other ones and I may end up putting them together as a set when I'm listing them. But here's a purple one too. So let's see, I think it's pretty much the same. Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, so pretty. Super simple, very, very usable. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put those together. One, in, one foot, nine inches long, one and a half inches wide. So I'm gonna do that set of two. Okay, um, we have a journal here. This is not from Barb. We're just going through everything I have here. Look at how cute this is. It's Mexican themed. It's called, um, it says Fiesta. I think, okay, this is a September challenge journal from Terry Nix. She's used English tea. That would be Joanne's. Sweet and breezy yellow roses. And then these two vintage beverage and vintage extracts. Those are from Vintage Image Club, which is on sale for $10 this weekend. Uh, it is something you do need for the challenges. And, um, after the October challenge, we're taking a break till the January challenge so that I can get caught up on regular marketplace journals and everybody has time for making their Christmas presents. Um, so I love how she added this Mexican Hispanic theme to it and then still use this is sweet and breezy and use the yellow roses. And it's just, I would not have thought of doing that Terry, but it is beautiful. 
truly lovely. This would make an incredible Christmas gift. I really love what she did here. Look at those little kids on the front. So cute. I lived on the border of Mexico for a year when I was about 13. So that was fun. Okay, so we looked at that journal. Here's another journal, and this one is a gigantic. Three signatures, gigantic cover. Cute little, oh, look at that. Love the little bottles. Little teacup. Okay. Upholstery fabric covered. Oh, it doesn't open. It's just like a little board on the front. It says tea time. This is from Lana. Lana Feedback. She included a pen and um, she's used these digitals here that you can pause and read if you wish. But boy, are these colors, don't they pop? <laughs> Love what she's done here using um, Terrific Times and English Tea. English Tea. Really picking up on the pinks in them. Yes, there are a lot of pinks. Sweet and breezy. And I love what she's done here. Giving you lots of room to work, but giving you lots of eye candy. Look at all these. So these are from Vintage Image Club. So if you're interested in joining that, we have over 170 folders on there with these uh, public domain images. I'm always adding more. And um, these are just some of them. They are great additions to your journals. And uh, I've got a real little tea bag in there. And what's absolutely amazing, these are from Vintage Image Club as well. What's absolutely amazing about them is that they are public domain. So you don't have to worry. Oh, look, she put teeny little flowers on that teapot. So cute. You don't have to worry about selling your journals made with it because it's um, yeah, public domain. So I do that on purpose. So you guys don't have to worry. No worries. Really pretty, Lana. So that one is a tea time. So those will be in the marketplace journals section. We have another journal. It says memories. I like, like the front. That's really, really pretty. Okay. This is from Cindy. Cindy. So it is a tea theme journal. So she's using those same digitals that we've been talking about. The English tea, sweet and breezy, terrific times in the vintage image club. I love her stenciling. I am a huge fan of stenciling. Oh, look at that. This is Joanne's English tea. If you do not have this set, oh, it's so beautiful. But look at how it's that open up when you open the spread and it's so pretty. So just gorgeousness. This is one of my floral journal labels. I love how she used that. So that's from Cindy. And then you have the dyed uh, seam binding for the closure. And I believe Cindy sent one more journal. This is going to be a long video. You know, who cares? You can, there's not going to be a video this weekend. That's why I shoved so much into this one. That way, you know, you can watch it over the weekend. You can do five minutes here, 10 minutes there, or you can just, you know, watch for a few minutes and then pop over to the shop and look at some of the pictures and be done with it. So whatever serves you the best. I love this cardstock. Look at the blue glittered florals. Oh, that is so pretty. And then it says, imagine. So again, from Cindy, it is tea themed September. Um, so she is using those digitals we've been talking about and then incorporating them into this gorgeous journal. I absolutely love the simplicity of it. It is um, gorgeous colors. You're always excited turning the page, but it um, has plenty of room for writing. And for you to decorate it a little bit yourself, another floral journal label in the back. That cover just pops. And look at the blue seam binding, the light blue seam binding. It just really pulls that blue out. Gorgeous, Cindy. Thank you for sending those. Very, very, very much love them. Okay, back to goodies from Barb. Seven triple pockets with a bookmark. Nice. Would you look at this, guys? Okay, so I'm just going to lay them out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. These are heavy duty. I'm thinking they're made from maybe, oh, it looks like maybe a manila folder and then some wallpaper. But you have a pocket up here. So there's a, just a plain bookmark up in the top of each one. And then you have a pocket here and a pocket there. So triple pocket. And those blues and pinks are gorgeous. And that would be really, really pretty on the front of a journal as well. 
Um, so seven of them. You could do a collection of journals, send some as happy mail. Truly, truly beautiful. All right, next we have some crocheted items from Connie, my mother-in-law. She did some crocheted buttons. Okay, look at how pretty. I love these. I've been wanting to steal them and use them myself. So crochet buttons. Really pretty. Those are in a cream. And then mm, this only has three buttons. So I'm thinking, oh, no, it does have four. Okay. So we have a pink, a blue, a purple, and a cream. Look at how pretty that would be. Oh, so gorgeous. And then she has some crocheted butterfly paper clips. So they're on gold paper clips and they are mini butterflies. And you can add a little rhinestone in the middle if you want to. Or a little heart, or you can just leave them like that if you're going for an understated look. Set of six. So those are from Connie, and they're in the Marketplace Supplies section. Okay, we looked at those. Next, this is from me. Uh, it's a set of Christmas stencils. These are brand new. Um, it was a bigger set, and I chose, I think I chose like a few to keep and then some to sell. So we have two different Christmas trees. We have two different Merry Christmases. We have a Santa. Hopefully you can see there's little stockings and bells and candy canes and Rudolph. And so there's four of them and they're brand new and they're perfect for your Christmas journals. So I have that set in Lindsay's supplies and then a whole bunch of wallpaper that I put together. I'm going to go super fast through this because I always post pictures so you can see them in Lindsay's supplies. But this is muted florals. I have two sets of muted florals. Um, six images there for muted florals, two sets of Bella Blue. This one's really pretty. This is textured. So two sets of Bella Blue, two sets of Gray Haze, two Gray Haze, two sets of old books. So they have those books in there. Two old books, two sets of Golden Hour. I love this one too. So creamy. And one set, this is wintergreen, beautiful. And then one set called Beautifully Bold. The size varies, but they're 17 from, they're all folded in half, but from slivers all the way up to full 11 by 16, I think. So that's what I have for wallpaper. And if you think we're done yet, we are not. I have more from um, Barb. So we have a set of four tags with blank backs. Oh, how Gorgeous, Barb. Wow. So these are nice thickness. Look at those florals. Don't you just want to put them in your journal right now? Look at that. Even using, you can you can write on the back, but like, look at that washi sticker. Isn't that beautiful? So we have that. The bag is super cute too. And you can just pop or cut this off here at the top and use that if you want. The bag just kind of keeps them together. Um, four tags, plain back a little bit of some retro fashion here got some plain backs really cute they're collaged they each have a little yellow rose all right oh put it back in the bag we have some okay double-sided christmas bookmarks okay so it looks like we have sets of one, two, three, and four. And then they're each in their individual bags, so they're great for maybe gifts. These are nice. These are well made. Really pretty. I'll pull one out so you can see. I mean, that would be just a great Christmas gift. Maybe for someone who enjoys reading, put it in somebody's stocking. Great office gifts, um, teacher gifts. Really like them. And you get four and they come in that plastic bag. So it looks like super snazzy when you give it as a gift. All right. So perfect for Christmas gift giving. All right. What do we have here? Little journal cards. Ten sets of ten. Each is unique. Cut out of a book. Plain backing fussy cut. All right. We'll just look at one see what we got here cute so they're cut out of a book and then they're backed so that you can write on them cute and they're all unique I guess 
let's see. Let's just take a look at one more set so we can see the, the difference here. But yeah, so similar sets, but they're they're unique, very vintage, very fun. And there's 10 sets of 10, so grab a couple sets. That's fun. All right, next. This is six journal cards with clips. Oh, cute. Look at those. Those are super cute. And they have the little words on them. I love the little doily in the corner. Nice. Okay. Five fabric lace cards. Oh, wow. These could be journal cover pieces. You know, and then uh, get a bulb pin and clip something dangly on there. Beautiful. These Tim Holtz paper dolls always want to hang on to the little punch out. I had that problem with mine the other day. Super funny when it does that. Mine was doing that too. And I was like, wait a second. <laughs> Just pop it out. And I guess I shouldn't have taken camera time for that. But anyway, there we go. Gorgeous. And look at those gold trims on the top. All right. Beautiful set there. Matching set of four cards with two corner pockets. Ooh. So here's your pockets. And then you got a bunch of cards. Look at the birds. If you want to buy these and then you're looking for a few more bird journal cards or snippet pieces, I have some in Lindsay's Handmade. So these would coordinate beautifully with those. And um, it would be enough for a bird journal. Okay, five pockets, cloth, and lace. You know, this style reminds me just a little bit. I mean, her own uniqueness, of course, but just a little bit of Paula, which we have some goodies from Paula coming up uh, next week, I believe. So, oh, these are so pretty. I would want to do maybe a collection of journals with this as the cover and then just add my own couple little pieces to make it unique. But wouldn't that be gorgeous? So pretty. Love the way the color scheme works on that bar. Um, oh, these are one, two, three, four, five. Five bundles of trim. Each has 30 pieces, and each piece is approximately a foot and a half or 18 image, images, inches. So these are uh, lace bundles, lace and trim. So you'll get a random one. You know, maybe order a couple. What do we have here? Two cards, one tag, one envelope. Look at how pretty. So pretty. Oh, gorgeous. We are almost to the end. A couple more to look at. Six fancy edges. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at how, like, she has the torn paper. It looks so grungy. I am not good at making things look like this grungy. So I'm really intrigued. I'm kind of taking it in. I hope you guys are too. Beauty, beauty. I know somebody's going to scarf those up. While you're looking through the marketplace supply section, we still have, I want to say four or five sets of freebie napkins. Um, the sets have seven napkins in them. If you order at least four items from the supply section, I pop that in for free. They were gifted to us from Sherry Sawyer. Look at these decoupaged blank cards. Gorgeous. Set of six. They all have the oh, oh. same napkin, but different placements of it. So we have several items that are on kind of a clearance sale to get them moving and out. So if you don't mind adding some of those, maybe you've been wanting them to your order and I'll pop in those free um, napkins for you. Four stuffed pocket tabs. Oh, so cute. There's stuff like little goodies in there. So cute, Barb. All right, nice. And then we have a set of three tags. Ooh, very pretty. Nice, heavy duty, gorgeous. That could be a front cover too of a journal. So that's all we have today. Yes, this video was very long. I really, really enjoyed myself. It was just 
really nice to see everything and just kind of show you just kind of inspiration overload for the weekend. And I hope that maybe you're inspired. Maybe you're inspired to make a snippet roll or you're inspired to purchase an ephemera pack. It doesn't have to be from me. It could be from me. It could be from somebody else and work on some journals using that or, um, you know, pull out some wallpaper that you bought and you forgot about and try to make something from it. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. And in the comments section, comment, the comment section, no, the comments section, would you please give me your blip of inspiration for the day? What is something that you would say to me or anyone else watching that would be inspirational, especially as it has to do with crafting? So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on Monday.